My name is Melanie Goldfarb. I'm an endocrine surgeon out in Santa Monica, California at the John Wayne Cancer Institute. And my practice has to do with all types of endocrine tumors, um, but I do have not only a love and interest, but a subspecialty in doing young adult cancer. So I, so I do have an interest um, both in research as well as surgical expertise in doing young adult patients. So I have anywhere from adolescents to you know all the spectrum of young adults uh, in my practice. So I take care of them a lot. Thyroid cancer is actually the number one cancer in women ages 15 to 35 and the number two from ages 35 to 50 behind breast cancer. So as much as it's not common, it is the most common, especially in younger women, if you get cancer. And even in young men, it is in the top uh, three to four cancers in younger men um, behind some of the other ones you hear about. So in and of itself, it's not common, but within the spectrum of younger people that get cancer, it is right up there. Um, so it becomes important when you're talking about young cancer patients in general. So when we talk about treatment for young adults, it's generally the same um, as it is for older adults. With that said, since we know much older adults have a worse prognosis than younger adults, um, the older patients may get treated a little bit more aggressively than the younger patients. This seems counterintuitive and previously younger patients were almost treated more aggressively because they were thought to, you have a long time to live, we better do all this extra stuff to make sure you do great. And I think most of us that really um, understand the cancer and the treatment as well as young adults uh, have taken a step back from that and almost doing a little bit of the opposite, saying, well, we know you're gonna live a long time. We wanna make sure to minimize your complications and your risk, so let's do the best job we can and maybe try to get away with a little less if we can. So young adults, technically, according to the National Cancer Institute, is patients ages 15 to 39 at diagnosis. Um, I would say that, you know, there are, when you talk about young adult cancer programs at hospitals, some of them are, start as early as age 12 and stop as early as age 25. Some of them go up to age 45 or 50. And even within the young adult community, we... Um, you know, the past couple of years have also been talking about, well, what does being a young adult really mean? It's, in my view, it's not as much about the age it is, but it's where you are in your life. So somebody who's 43 might be just as much facing young adult issues as somebody who's 35 or vice versa. It just kind of depends on what they're going through. So um, what makes young adult thyroid, thyroid cancer or young adult cancer in general different is what else is going on in your life and what, what are things that you have to go through when you're going through um, your cancer treatments and afterwards during your survivorship. So um, you know, being 20 and getting a cancer is very different than being 40, is very different than being 70. So being in college, being in grad school, Going to college is very different than having little kids at home, or I just got married, or I just got divorced, or I have grandkids. Those are all really different phases of our life. Um, and so going through cancer and its survivorship is going to be different depending on what's going on in your life. So what I tell my patients is that I want you to live your life like you don't have cancer because thyroid cancer in general is very treatable and you're going to live a long, healthy life. But you have to remember and think of yourself as a cancer patient so that you get regular follow-ups and you're on top of your medical care. So that's what I tell my patients. Um, 
I think most clinicians all have their own thing, but that's what I like to tell mine. Um, and so what I would tell them is, you have to get treatment. You don't let this go by the wayside. You know, you have to stay on top of it, but um, you're gonna get through this. We, the gross majority of people get to a place with their medicines and their levels where they are back to living a normal life, but it's a new, sometimes it's a new normal. Um, and that's okay, um, but there is this whole life and whatever you're gonna do ahead of you and don't let this stop you. You just may have to do a little zigzagging along the way to get to where you want you to go. So I would like you, the young adult viewers, to know that there are more of you out there. Um, so if you ever feel like you're alone and there's nobody else out there like you, there's a whole community not only of young adult thyroid cancer survivors, but also of young adult cancer patients out there. And um, there are also uh, clinicians, and I'm saying not necessarily physicians out there, who can help you navigate all of those things that you need to navigate, whether it's a new job, whether it's your insurance, whether it's dating, whether it's going to school, that are can get you the right resources and get you um, help or support in all those things. And so don't feel like you're just the oddball with a bunch of 60-year-olds going into your cancer center. A, you can go to THICA. Um, you know, they actually have a young adult Facebook group, um, as well as other resources. Um, there is the Livestrong Critical Mass, um, which is the young adult sort of cancer group. Um, there's also things, uh, other stuff called uh, Teen Cancer. There's Immigrant Angels, which is a mentor network, and there's about 20 other things out there. So there really are a lot of stuff. You just kind of have to ask for it or spend five minutes searching on the computer and you'll get it.